Hi guys, welcome to my Solo Hunter Prestige Nightfall run. I'm doing it on Arc Strider, so I, I've using Better Devils, Arc Mananan, and the Darcy, all masterworked. I'm using uh, the Radiant Flux for the for the Arc Strider, and my modifiers are Arc Singe, Heavyweight, and Momentum. So, it's pretty pretty standard run, pretty, pretty good run, 16 minute run on the, the Arc Strider. Uh, the reason I'm using Darcy as opposed to Warcliffe, because Warcliffe seems to be the clutch weapon for this one. Uh, it seems to be the, the meta almost for this, for getting a fast run, is it's high risk, high reward. It does mass damage, but it can it can actually make your run, uh, you know, unless, unless, you know, unless you want to do multiple runs just to get that run. It, it can blow knights off the edge, it can destroy the orbs. It's, it's like the, the cluster rocket, but the cluster rocket does the exact same thing. The clusters can actually destroy the orbs that the knights drop. So... I chose to go with Darcy because it's a safer option. You can attack everything from range. Pretty repeatable. So I skipped the first area and I come to this area. Now, I had a, I had a bit of an issue with snipe shots there. So normally I can snipe those pretty easily. But two shots on the shield will drop the shield and then the third one takes the head. Remember to rally a flag before you come into the nightfall. You get full heavy. Now, this is the first real encounter, this area here. And the trigger is, the trigger for this, the key to this, is the two yellow bar knights. Now, if you were so inclined, if you wanted to do it, fa you know, faster than I've done it, you can just go for the two yellow bar knights, the two ultra knights, pick up the orbs, throw them, and forget about all the other ads. Uh, and and then that's that's the section done. Just That is the key. You don't have to kill all the ads. I did because you do you do end up taking a bit of heat here, so no point in I, I didn't see the point in uh in trying to in trying to do a, do a speed run with <laughs> with the Darcy. I didn't I didn't I don't really I don't really think a guide should be a speed run. So you know when you see people put safe way to do this and they spend most of the strike nearly dead, it's like that's not a safe way to do it. This, as you will see, is a pretty safe way. Uh, and I find that nearly all the hive nightfalls, all the hive strikes, they're always kind of ad heavy. So you know, there's there's not real big sections where you can just bypass this section. Uh, they're all pretty ad heavy, uh, and this boss can be really tricky. But I think the way I do this is pretty good. I think it's pretty standard the way I do this. I never felt in any trouble at all in this. I never felt like I'm gonna go down here. I never felt like that once. So the first real piece of strategy comes at the ogre. The rest of it is just kill the ads from a, a safe range. You know, this next section, take down the four knights, then the wizard, and you've got to take down nearly all the acolytes, and then you can bypass the throne. And then we're at, the, we're at one little part uh, where you just kill one acolyte, then you can kill the first knight uh, which will axe it the second knight will come out but again you can run past that i think i've never actually tried to do that but i think i'm pretty sure you can just run past it so if you guys are i get a lot of questions on reddit and uh, you know asking me different things so i decided i've never ever said this on any of my videos why don't you guys check out my twitter page um i'm accessible there 24 hours a day if you've got something you want to ask or just get involved in some conversation, follow me on Twitter. I also have a Facebook page, uh, and again, they're on the front page of my channel, so you guys can have a look at that if you want. Uh, I've never, ever really said that in my videos, because my videos, I always felt like that's not what they were about. You know, but I've got them, so why not? Uh, right, so as you can see, the wizard's down. I've got, I think I've got one knight left, and then... Um, it's just acolytes, and again, that I remember watching a run of Slayerages months and months ago on the Pyramidium, and he was like getting really, really salty at the amount of walls that were going up from, you know, from uh, the amount they were diving away and regenerating their health and all that, and and it, no, it wasn't, it wasn't that, it was uh, the arms dealer. It wasn't the Pyramidium, it was the arms dealer and. The ads were just jumping away, and he was like, "That's so annoying." The hive, the amount of times they can regenerate their shield is disgraceful. But the reason why they regenerate their shields is 
if you get within their the range that they, they'll fire at you at, that's what they'll do. The Darcy allows you to take these ads from areas where they can't fire back at you, so they 90% of the time won't put a shield up. So food for thought there. So we're coming up to the auger section. So this auger section, you can have two different types. You can have one where you've got uh, uh, you've got the big auger in the center, and then you've got two augers, one one left, one right. The left one will come first. That 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 will bring the knights out, and then the right one. This is the shriek of run. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out the, the the two acolytes that are underneath the shrieker. Then we're going to pop the shrieker with one Darcy, and then we're going to aim at the, it's like a, a secret door that the knights come out of, and we'll take the first one's shield. That, most of the time, he will then, we do it from the area, this area we've dropped down into, so as you can see, I take the two, two acolytes. There's a, there's an orange bar that I always like to try and get rid of as well, but he's not so easy to, because he runs away. But we get him here. Reload, full ammo. We're, we're going to take this shrieker out, one hit two if you miss the crap and then we, we we want to take that knight shield down because if you do you can take that first knight there i take the second shield but very rarely do you get a second shot on that knight so we take down the the acolytes that are around that orb and then we're going to go for the orb now sometimes that first knight will wait for you and he'll be there when you get there like so so if you put a shot on him normally you'll run away and you can get the orb, Thor. Now, what I do is, because some of you guys might have got killed by the ogre a couple of times, and, you know, it's annoying, and you might think this makes this difficult. It only makes it difficult if you don't try to manipulate the ogre into positions you want him to be in. You can, if you go, if you want to get the orb, and it's down at the front, which is not the area you drop in, at the other area. Uh, if, if you get the, the, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect the knight to come round. Normally, he waits round at the front. But uh, if you want to go round to where this knight is, see, he's gone into position now, you would come to the back, access, you know, uh, get the ogre to go to the back, and then come round here. You know? So as you can see, we're all good. We've got the two knights down. Now, I'm going to take this thought up here. Okay? And then we're going to run. Well, as you can see, I missed it. It's okay. Actually, it actually worked out well because we want to take the Shrieker and then we're going to go over here and pop with Super and that takes the other two knights. Don't get a chance to run away. And the Arc Strider is really good at taking out taking out these knights. And because I'm Masterworked Armor, it just seemed like times where this happened, where I was taking damage, you can see it doesn't really seem to be hurting me that much. So once they're down, I'll take out any Acolytes that are around just to give myself a free run. And then I'll go and pick the orbs up. And that that's it. So min make sure that you're using using your position to manipulate the ogre. So if you want to go down to the slope, down at the back, or the front, the other side from where you drop down on. <laughs> I'm confusing myself. If you want to go to the other side from where you drop down, come up here and shoot the ogre and get the ogre to come over at you here. Which means you can go down the other side without the ogre being there. You need to manipulate the ogre's position. So when you're fighting, and fighting a set of ads on the left, the ogre will come to you. Even, you know, as soon as you start shooting, he'll come there. It's a good idea to ha to manipulate him like that because it just makes makes that battle so much easier. And if you can take the first knight straight away, then it just makes your life a little bit easier because the other two knights will drop down at the exact same place. If you've got a super, arc strider especially, you, you'll take both of them. So... Now we're at the boss section, and the boss section is split up into a couple of waves. So we're going to take these four knights, and then there's a rock to the left of where we are, which is where we're going to attack the boss room. Now, there's a couple of key things to remember in this in this boss battle. One, when you kill the yellow bars, nothing will happen until you've thrown both orbs. So that's the first key thing. So you can get into position... Then throw your orb from the position you, you want to attack from. And then Nocris will will come become active. Secondly, on the second wave, there are wizards. If you can take out the wizard closest to us on the right, you can take out all the adds 
and leave the last wizard up, right? Because the knights won't come out until the last wizard is dead. So you can min everything about this boss battle is it can be is is almost manipulation, manipulating ads. Now I didn't go into my subclass. I don't think I've not got triple jump on. I've got more control because you move faster through your jump, so you're harder to hit when you jump. So I always attack the ads from this position because I've got cover, and and even to run round the rock, it's not like you know you can have big big. Big loads of ads coming from both sides at the same time. It's quite a big rock. You're okay. Just remember as well, at certain points, you're going to have these snipers come out. You'll have three or four from each side. It's a good idea to take them when they come out. And I'm on this first section, the, the far night, not the night where we are, not the night at this side, the night at the other side comes out first. Now, I haven't really... I'm pretty sure that he comes out first. Uh, and 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 he's preceded. He's he, you know you know when he's going to be coming because you get that you know when you've reached that because e e each wave has a group of thrall that will come out. Then you'll have some acolytes, some sniper acolytes, and normal acolytes. Then you'll have the yellow bar knights. So I've found that they don't like being shot with the Darcy. So if you shoot them normally, they try and put a shield up or they run away. And putting a shield up is perfect because you can actually proc Darcy through the shield. So like the rockets, if they put a shield up and you're in a safe position, get, you know, proc, Dar proc Darcy's uh, personal assistant through the shield. And the minute the shield comes down, you'll do massive damage with your next shot. So once these two knights are down, you'll have one more. You'll have, they'll drop an orb. Which what you're going to want to get behind that rock, and then attack the boss. Make sure you're reloaded before you throw that orb as well. So what I do is I don't throw any orbs. I I leave both orbs on the floor. You know I take the, the knights are more important than throwing the orbs for me. So there we go. We're in position, and I just pop it on the boss, and the boss won't won't uh won't move from that position. So now there's two snipers. You want to take the two snipers if possible. Now what you'll find is it'll be really hard to take the second one until the por until the portal is fully open. There's the wizard. We get one shot on the wizard. The wizard will come over. And there we go. You can leave the second wizard up now. And just take the thrall. You, you, the reason why I stay in this position is now the boss is going to fire at you. The boss is going to start shooting at you. So from... From here, you always have cover from the boss in this wave. You know, it gets a bit, it gets a, it's different in the next wave because you, the boss becomes a Roman boss. So I jump between these two rocks constantly because I'll proc momentum and I'm in cover from the boss. Really simple, right? And now we're going to take the, we're going to take that, that wizard, that, now that we, there's no ads. There's no ads, uh, so we can take the knights at, at our leisure now, right? Now the knights can be, because we've got arcs in John, the knights can be tricky. Kind of what we want to do is take their shield down, get them to jump, and hopefully they'll put a wall up, like such. And that's their downfall. What actually they're putting up to protect themselves gives us the opportunity to get that Super crit. Now we've got one down, so ne next one's easy. You know. There we go. And 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 so far, pretty straightforward. We've got an area to attack from. Now what we're going to do is we've got this orb. We're going to go into position. As I said, make sure you're reloaded. We're going to get to our rock. And we're going to attack the boss from the rock. And it's this rock. It's the second rock from the right. And there we go. Boss becomes active. We put it on the boss from here. We're safe. And that's the boss done. Again, every time you'll have two snipers. Try and take them. The second one will be harder to take because of the portal. Now, as soon as the portal becomes fully active, the boss is going to start moving. 
So now it gets, a, this is the hardest part of it, but as you can see, I hope, I hope this on video uh, relates how easy this was. Because as long as you're moving from side to side and keeping an eye on the boss's position, you will be fine. Again, you're going to have acolytes, you're going to have thrall. What we want is we want as many of these ads to come out as possible so that we can put you know as soon as as soon as i see as soon as i see that the knights are out that's when we're going to start that's when we're going to pop a super and as we can see there's one knight out pop super and take the knights what i'm looking to take more important than anything else is the knights and the acolytes the acolytes can do a lot of damage here so if you take the knights and the acolytes then then it's 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 you and the boss after that. You know. And as I say, you've still got you've still got some arc strider left for any throw. So now you're just wanting to draw the boss in, get him to come to you, and you can go and collect the two orbs really simply. One acolyte left. Which the other thing is a lot of you guys might know this, the orb stuns the adds. So you can hit big ads with it. And now we're just going to finish the boss off right now. Very simple strategy. I think the boss part, I think I made it look pretty easy, especially with Arc Strider. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed the run. Uh, again, as I've said, uh, I thought I'd drop the rocket launcher, but it wasn't. It was a variant uh, of the, the emblem. I hope you guys enjoyed the run. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter if you're a Twitter user. Uh say hi on twitter and if you do enjoy the video throw it a like it's super super helpful for the video thank you very much guys and i will see you in the next video